All right, as promised, I'm going to undo this. And let's see. Don't forget your lovely assistant. What's under here, and yes, do you want to be on camera? Sure. Yeah, my lovely assistant, Lil, is gonna be helping me out because I need an extra pair of hands for some of this, probably. Yeah. Let's see what we got under here. Okay, gonna loop everything out. And then they... Yeah, we're gonna undo these. Okay. okay. Oh my god. Yeah. We got a whole bunch of shit study. Yeah, I know. Should I not screw this on camera? <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Will I offend your fandom? Ugh. There we go. All right. And look, we see a little bit of purpley stuff from where the injection was. Now. Remove that. Now I gotta just figure out where this thing will unwrap from. I think we can take it from the bottom. Yeah. We're just so tucked in down there. This seals it. Yeah, and I tucked underneath there too. Let's see how gnarly this knee looks, man. Woo! At least we're gonna we can really use the wrap. Yeah. Yay! And on a serious note. Thanks for doing this. It always helps anybody who watches this. If you have a friend who can help you with this, <laughs> get them to. Don't be so proud. No. Um, Definitely It's not. a mess. All right. I got my hand underneath my knee here, kind of holding it up, because I'm not strong enough yet to hold it all up myself. Woo. All right. Oh, look, now we're seeing bandage. We're seeing some dressings. Ooh, it's puffy. Mm -hmm. There's going to be swelling still. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. It's going to be pretty gnarly. Hey, Jeff. Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see how this looks. Let's hope it's not oozing and gross. I've drawn blood for blood before and I almost forgot to take the tourniquet off before I took the needle out. So I almost, almost shot across them. Almost got sprayed in the face. With yeah. Them. Compared to that. Go be careful, love. This can't be that bad. It's feeling itchy. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So that stuff should not be reused. This, these outer wrappings we may be able to. Yeah. All Man. right. Let's see what we got. Hey. Not bad. That really isn't bad. That's not nearly as ugly as I thought it would be. A little bit of blood on this dressing. Yeah. But not too much that leakage. Like that came from the site over here. Yeah. You saw. Okay. yeah. So, do you not want to see bad. from this side? Yeah, sure. Yeah, kind of get it from that end. Mm hmm. So obviously I've got a big, squishy, watery, baggy little knee, mm -hmm. um, but doesn't really hurt too bad. And for anybody interested, I've had no painkillers today, not even an NSAID or anything. I haven't taken minoproxen. All I've had is a single cider to drink. <laughs> so pain-wise, we're doing pretty well. Some NSAIDs for the swelling could probably yeah. be a good idea, though, because yeah, so there is I'm... still significant swelling here. Yeah. Okay, what are you trying to do now? I just got moving it around. Oh, look, we got fuzz stuck to the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some stickiness residual. Woo! That'll probably come off with an alcohol pad. Yeah. No biggie. Yeah, so I'll probably swab this. Mm -hmm. I could probably do that while I have it undone here. Ooh, swab. <laughs> now I got a couple of pads and some alcohol, so I'll probably clean things off. Um, Get some of that ink off. Yeah, man. Do you think you removed this part of the surgical dressing yet, too? I don't know. Um, it did say three days remove surgical dressings. I think that's going to include that. But this is probably going to be um, like pig derm, which would be waterproof. Yeah. And but I know they don't want me to get this wet. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. Um, you probably need more tegaderm, honestly, to keep over it. Yeah. But those so. dressings at this point, like, look at the coloring on that. 
They need to be changed. Yeah. They do. All right. So. Just for hygienic reasons. Right. Although, although I'm sure that the surgeon was very sterile. Yeah, it's, it's probably about time. So, uh, we're probably going to play around with this a little bit and strip these off. We have some of that gauze there that we can stick down. Maybe. We're going to work on figuring that out. So, I'm going to end this clip here. Might uh, splice a couple of them together, though. So, here we are. So here we are taking take it arm off. Ooh, itchy. <laughs> it's itchy. I want to see what this looks like with the gauze. Is that primarily where the itchiness is coming from? Is under the tail there? Yeah. It is. Oh that's good. That there's some hemostatic gauze under there. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. That's fine. Oof. such an interesting noise that it makes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's pretty tightly adhesive to your skin. Mm -hmm. That's really why they shave your leg. <laughs> but yeah, like all around there, right where you're taking off now, it itches. It's been itching for mm -hmm. a, a while. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry, honey. No, it's okay. It's okay. I know it's going to hurt. It's just going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's just part of it. through this part. Okay. All right. So we don't want to fuck with those steri strips. Yeah, those are staying on. That's not too bad. Yeah, not at all. That could be a lot more mangled than, mm -hmm. than it is. So I'm kind of okay with that. What are those ends of your sutures? Yeah. Those are going to be coming out later, I think. Yeah. Not the end of this week, they're going to check me, but then another week, so two weeks post-op, um, they're going to take them out. Mm -hmm. That's the plan anyway. Okay. Ruby. So, let's see. <sighs> yeah, and do we want to put a fresh gauze pad on it? I will. I'm yeah, just kind of trying to see if I need to use one of these tegaderms or if I'll have to have two like they had it. Yeah. I think one might be okay. Mm-hmm. Um, For those of you who might be interested, there's like bubbliness up here too, from the fluid kind of being squeezed out by the compression. So that's kind of neat. Let me see, show it from this yeah. angle. You can really see the suturing pretty well here. Yeah, that's kind of gnarly. Mm -hmm. And already you can see how the bruising is starting to spread a little bit. Mm -hmm. So all that blood is being basically, um, what is it? broken down by your body and that's why yeah, those like colors it, yeah, it pools there for a while and eventually yeah. gets broken down yeah why those colors start to occur there it's the process of that blood mm. breaking down tasting the rainbow here good times yay again i said in the previous clip uh get you get you friends that'll do stuff like this for you i owe you big for this that's okay Part of the challenge right now is actually keeping my leg from trembling. Uh, like, maybe it's a sensory thing, but just having it unwrapped and is this exposed, it's like it's new stimuli <laughs> for the mm -hmm. for the whole area to to experience. And between that and the muscle weakness and the trauma, it's like my knee wants to wants to do stuff, and I'm trying to tell it to chill out, <laughs> like don't move. Easier said than done. Right? Big time. Mostly I just want to be sure that the tegaderm will stick. Yeah, for sure. It does feel good just to get that stuff off for, all, for a minute. I think I'm going to have to use two. <laughs> well, you got to let the alcohol dry and everything. Sure. Just don't miss and smack my knee, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make noises that YouTube does not want to hear. <laughs> ah, my knees! <laughs> Damn it! Arm. Yeah. Bad stuff. Bad stuff indeed. So I guess, yeah, the plan is going to be we're going to put some fresh gauze on this and 
tack that down, tegaderm on top of it to make that watertight seal. And I'm still going to be pretty careful about my, uh, um, you know, getting it too wet or whatever. Uh, but I'll have the seal down there. And I'm going to wrap the ace bandage around it again, and then I'll just kind of treat it as, as normal. And I'll change these dressings periodically. And the stereo strips are going to stay there, and of course the stitches are going to stay in until they, the powers that be decide to take them off. Good stuff. And you can put some pressure if you need to. Yeah. It actually doesn't hurt that bad. It feels weird. Mm -hmm. I've actually never had stitches like this before in my life. This is my first major surgery. Even semi-major, I guess, surgery. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You're doing great, champ. Aw, thanks. Thank you, Shin. And that one hurts a little bit. Yeah, but you can, you can press down more. It's fine. Like, if I step wrong, it hurts a lot more than anything you're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And put one more on this side, I guess. Yeah. Over this guy. Exactly. Presently. I'm just going to kind of try to double layer the tegaderm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they overlap, that should be okay. Exactly. At least for, for the purposes of this. If I'd had, a, I guess, a very complicated abdominal surgery and with an incision that was a foot, a foot wide, we might want to... Do things differently. Right. So we're just layering that right on there. Good stuff. All right. And then... Yeah. So you think we don't need to use the tape? We can just do the tegaderm straight on. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least that's, that was my initial thought, but yeah. looking at these big gloss pads might be good just to help it stay in place. Sure, sure, sure. Better a little more precaution than a little less. Yeah. At least to stay in place during the application of the tegaderm. That's a good point. And like I said, if you need to push down to get the tape on there, go ahead. Go for it. I might whine, but you know, it's not like you're messing up the surgery. Yeah. It's just There's something to everything's bruised. Soft hands. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that grimace. Again, it's like this thing wants to shake everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's see if I can do this part without messing it up. Because Tegaderm is not fun to apply. I believe in you. It's kind of tricky. Not too bad. So that's one. Okay. Not too bad. Hey. So we got the bottom chunk. Mm -hmm. and it bubbled a little bit, but that's okay. you gotta keep it waterproof. Especially if you're otherwise cautious about getting water on it. Mm hmm. Hey, don't, don't dump it in the bathtub full of water for me, all right? Don't Fine. Do don't do that. I'm kind of used to this. <laughs> A piece of gauze? Mm -hmm. Not greatly since the way it's situated. Yeah. Oh, 
do what we gotta do. Hold that up. Alrighty. Okay. Holding this thought. I don't like this because there's like no way to work within a sterile field right now. Yeah. <laughs> the best to sterilize these these scissors here mm -hmm. not much I can do at least maybe that help kind of Minimize that exposure over the tape there. Okay. Let's see what happens. This is just the product of poor planning. <laughs> By you. Yes. Your poor planning. This is, this is entirely my fault. Mm -hmm. Lest anybody be mistaken, mm -hmm. this is Jeff's fault. Mm -hmm. it's, on it's all on me. I mean, literally, it's on me. <laughs> hey, oh. I'm clever and witty <laughs> and all of those things. so close. Almost got it on that side. Almost got it on that side too. Okay. Well, a little extra tape around those areas will help. I think I'm okay with that. I'm still not going to be dunking this. Yeah. So, I think exactly. we're, we're, we're okay. But you should be okay to like, minimize from any sort of splashing or something. And I think it's, it's good to have the, at least just to have clean bandages on there. Just clean gauze. Well, yeah. Just that makes me have a little bit more peace of mind. Yeah. I'm coming around this side. Hey. Again, your surgeon will be working out of a sterile field, but it's yeah. still good to change those bandages. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the changing of the bandaging, and then we're going to just rewrap this guy. I'm going to do the full wrap again. Okay. It's about as straight as I can get my knee right there. So, <clears throat> so there's going to be a little bit of pressure. That's all right. Because you don't want your wrappings to be like too terribly loose. Yeah. Because it'll help with the swelling. <sighs> but you also don't want it to be so tight that it's messing with circulation. Yeah, like I don't want my toes to start turning blue. Yeah. Is this? Terribly uncomfortable. No, it's tolerable. Okay. I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> Good thing your toes are okay. Yeah, I just smack my foot, why don't you? I'm sorry. Good stuff. All right. Yay! How Did... far down were you wrapped? Oh, it went all the way down to my ankle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want it to be far down again, or? Not particularly. Just kind of yeah. like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. That should be all right, and I can play with it later. I got some little uh, clips and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That'll work better than the cloth tape. Yeah. Okay, and then we can put your brace back on. Yay! So, there it is, folks. It's going to be a bitch to do yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to suck to do myself. But here we are. First proper dressing change. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to turn this off so I can help her help me help myself. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is.